Hey y'all, so let me tell you. This is going to be a twin flame reading, okay? I don't normally do these readings. I try to start, I was about to start doing some twin flames. And anytime I get into that twin flame energy, bro, it's just a whole different energy. I mean, y'all are twin flames generally, but I do the general twin flames, not the love, okay? But it's somebody that is, they, this person is not letting you go. But a lot of y'all don't even know your twin, okay, here for sure. You don't even know this person for a lot of y'all. You don't know them at all, but they are aware of who you are some kind of way, spiritually, I'm, I'm sure it's spiritually. This person has been awakened to who you are. You have visions or dreams regarding this connection this person could okay so this is you having dreams or this is this person dreaming about you there it seemed like this person is looking to find a little bit more information about something when it comes to you maybe you're into a certain thing this person is studying that you degree with you um maybe you have children they're studying how to be a parent or what do you do around kids or something like that this person there yeah it's, it's something that this person is studying i don't feel like they're studying you i feel like they're studying what your circumstances are basically if that makes any sense this person is very mature this person could be even older than you but like um <clears throat> it's like if you're a single mom or a single father like what does a single mom do in a day? Or how much do single moms get to spend by themselves? Or, you know, because they do have polls and tolls and shit like that, that they ask people different questions, you know, and they give their um, opinions and then they present out shit like it's a percentage of something. I'm seeing somebody studying ratios of something, number, numbers, but it's only to um, be of assistance to you. This person I want to they don't want to mess up something is what I want to say. I feel like this shit's sleek, sneaky as fuck because it's like this person is everything that they're studying. It got something to do with you. But I can understand because this person, they don't know you. They, of course, they want to get to know who you are. But like the circumstances that you're in, this person wants to have a better understanding of that, if that makes any sense. Okay. So you got new love at the bottom of the deck. What's here for these twin flames, for this twin flame union? This person, it seemed like ever since this person saw you maybe in a dream or they, um, this person was made aware that you were their twin, this person couldn't let you go. This person has a gift of discernment. This person also has a gift of being able to see in the spirit also here. It's something, an irresistible pull. It's something that's pulling this person towards you, period. Yeah, this person ain't following after the crowd. This, this this is not no follower. Like I said, whoever this is, they have a gift of being able to see. This person may love being outside, um, but somebody was trying to influence this person, this uh, feminine or this masculine to go away from you, but they just can't leave you alone is what I'm hearing. Like this person may have walked away. They may have given up on the journey. They may have, but it's something that brought them right the fuck on back. I feel like this person don't think that they're doing nothing wrong or this person may feel like they time is on their side because you don't know who they are. Maybe. I don't know. But you're going to have a child with this person. Whoever this is. Somebody named James or Jerome, Justin, Javaris, Julian, Julian, Julius, Julius, Julian, Solis, Grimmins Bride. This is a sacred union. This is an emperor, whoever this is. And I keep picking up on somebody that's in damn prison. I don't care, bro. I'm telling you, Shada, this is somebody's in prison. Maybe that's, look, maybe that's why this person is studying so much about your circumstances. This person don't have much experience. They've been locked up for a while, whoever this is or whoever you are. Trust, surrender, leap of faith into the unknown, okay? Somebody going to, um, they going to end up taking a leap of faith just simply because that's what they're supposed to do. This person was invited, um, I feel, by your spiritual team for one, because 
they were made aware of who you are. And this made this person want to know more about you, but more about what you have been through and things like that. This person does not want to step on your toes is what the hell I just heard. This person don't want to do anything wrong. I mean, nothing wrong, but create a life with you. You know, this person, I feel like this person was being manipulative too in the beginning because it's like this person was talking to you and then for some reason they just pulled back or some shit. This person pulled back for some reason or another. Like I said, it could have been somebody influencing this masculine or this feminine. Somebody was playing it as a gatekeeper here. Somebody was trying to be in control of something that they had no control over because this masculine don't even got no control over their emotions for you. This person is dangerously in love with you. For real, for real. And it's like whenever this person get out of prison, this person got a whole... This person, this, this person is straight. This is what I'm trying to say. That you ain't... Whoever you are, divine feminine, if your man is in prison or something like that, don't don't worry about stability or anything like that. Because first of all, I feel like you got your own. But this person definitely got some shit going on, period. This person is not lazy. This person is not stupid. They're not blind. They may have been blinded at some point with some friends or something like that. I don't know. But this person has completely isolated themselves. It's something about isolation. And this person seems happier since, you know, they cut off all these damn people. This person may be very well known or something. But it's just a matter of waiting. It's a matter of waiting to partner with this person. Because it's like, you're going through your shit, they're going through theirs, but you both have wisdom. This is an ideal match. This is a perfect match. This is like Cupid's arrow hitting both of y'all at the same time. In the same exact spot, right in your heart for each other those arrows of love it's just like wow and fam you don't know this person i'm just trying to tell you they know you some kind of way i don't know bro i really do not know i really don't know but this person be watching you not all the time like this ain't no stalker but they, they keep up with you i feel like this person even got people on the streets that be watching you too like they be watching after you or something like that this person is a protector a provider this person right here really pushing P for real, for real. Like, nah, for real. This person could have went to prison for drugs or something. But they really about that shit. Pushing P, power too. This person got a lot of... Damn, masculine. Damn. This girl, this man, damn. This sound like my damn masculine right here. I ain't gonna care. What else is here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look, Spirit said that's the damn truth of rule, honey. Where it go? I just seen that truth card. There it go. That's the truth. This person right here, man, they about to come out of solitude or some shit. But there's that material harvest. You have absolutely nothing to worry about, but especially spiritually. This person is not going to let anything happen to you. I mean, like, nothing. Because they were sent by the Most High God. This person was made just for you. This person is also trapped in fear, too. This person is... They, they look at you like an authority figure, like a boss. This person thought they was a boss. They like, damn, this person really, they don't give a fuck. They just like me. Like, how can I possibly, how can I possibly meet somebody or, you know, this is my person? Like, they just like me. Like, ain't no way in the hell. Because this person has encountered a lot of people over time. So have you. Okay? Look at this disruption energy. I feel like this person may be feeling some kind of way inside maybe they lost someone it's a loss here or they lost something they lost something or they lost somebody i don't know for sure but there's the prosperity and see this is not the kind of person that takes out their frustration or their anger on other people this person isolates themselves when something is going on with them that's how you will know that this person is upset or something but i don't feel like they'll ever show you a side of them that's upset because when they're with you they they ain't got no reason to be mad is what he just told me this person don't have a reason to be mad. Memories of love is in the reverse. You don't know this person. It's nothing. This, this is a fresh, new person. By the time you meet this person, they'll be well out of prison, period, and established. I'm just trying to tell you. It's not like you're going to meet them while they're in prison or something. Or hell, maybe you will. Or maybe you did. Or maybe, you know, your person is locked up now, but they about to get out or something. But they are not the same person that they went in as. They're not the same person. This person gets through obstacles and challenges like a damn drill sergeant, period. This person is the real drill sergeant. This nigga, man, look, this masculine right here don't play no fucking games. And this person all about business. This person not going to play with nobody. They ain't never played with nobody. 
but see divine feminine you ain't ever fucking played either masculine you could have did some time right here masculine might be well out of prison but he's established and he about to meet his divine feminine somebody that's exactly like him but completely opposite but i feel like just gender both of y'all are funny y'all sexy you can dress you about your bread you about doing good shit and first of all you're about the most high god you love god first and this is why you guys are coming together now see a lot of you all you have exes family members friends they don't want you to be with anybody especially not no one of this caliber not saying that you ain't of high status but it's like you're spiritually higher ranking than this person Divine fam, you rank higher than this person spiritually, but physically they are ranked higher than you, if that makes any sense. Like they may have more clout. This person got a lot of clout or something. Some about light. April 19. What's here? I heard the word furious. Fast and the furious. This person loves fast cars. Or this could be you, Divine fam. Somebody loves fast cars. Oh, well, both of y'all. This is a twin flame reading. Many of y'all share one, so straight up, you just do. I feel like this person was even willing to sacrifice. This person has made a lot of changes, but so have you. And it wasn't just to come together with you. This person actually wants to be a better person. And they've done a damn good job. This is why God is granting this person their freedom. Seriously, that's the damn true, boo. This is why this person's freedom is being granted to them because they chose to change. When I, I feel like when God isolates you, when God sits you down, bro, it's all about self-reflection, bro. Spiritual enlightenment and enhancement. It's about you growing spiritually. It don't got nothing to do with, oh, God punishing me. Oh, he must be mad. Oh, so let me just run further away from him because he's mad with me. No, that's not it. He's correcting you. He made a mistake and he's correcting you. Period. You have to learn to look at things in a spiritual manner. But see, when you put the most high God first, when you're in any kind of predicament, you're going to know that he put you there, period. I don't care how you might feel about it. I don't care how you may feel about a situation. God put you there. Even if you think you put you there, your actions might have gotten you somewhere, but God put you somewhere because of your safety, be, to preserve you, you know, just whatever the case may be, fair masculine. I just want to always encourage you guys to find God in everything, bro. Find him in everything. It's somebody's time to go. I heard pack it up. Pack it the fuck up right here. That's what I heard. Somebody going to be happy as fuck. But see, the thing about it is, this person got a whole life and all of that. I'm, it's like they're going to end up catching up with their family, their friends, and all of that. They're going to get stable and boom, you going to run into this person or they're going to reach out to you. Something like that. This person ain't never stopped thinking about you. And then, too... This person could just be in prison in some kind of relationship or something like that. Could be a marriage. They get a divorce. I don't know what this is. You know, I don't encourage divorce. So you marry me, you ain't going no fucking where. I'm not going nowhere. But, I mean, if you just get to the point where there's no working something out and motherfuckers is doing some low down ass shit, the real truth of rule is you need to leave because it was not no foundation under the most high anyways. You dig a rich you? So it's something like that. You have to find God and everything. Because sometimes God will separate you. God will break contracts. God will break contracts and bonds and everything just because there's a chance that somebody can put you in an uncompromising situation. And his first thing is to do what? Protect you. This is your yang. This is the person that's going to be there for you. I'm telling you. This is a person that you can trust. They're the exact replica of you. Like, this is your person. If ain't nobody in the world gonna have your back, this person will. And that's only to be fair. I'm seeing somebody eating cotton candy, popcorn, getting big ass teddy bears. Like this person like doing shit like that. Or you do. Yeah, it's time for somebody to go. Somebody got a leg up because they chose to change. Mark my words, this person finna get out of prison, 1414. This is somebody who everybody counted out. This person got some crazy ass charges. This person got some crazy ass charges, bro. It's something about, um, like pinning charges on someone here. Mending poised from a long time ago, okay? Something was not fair. Somebody named Robert or Roger, something like that, Damien. Eddie, <laughs> Edward, Edward in this bitch. Eddie, what's up, Eddie? <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, what's up? 
It is. It is, bitch. I'm trying to see. Eduardo. <laughs> no, nah, Eddie cool to fuck any bitch. For real. It's somebody named Eddie in that motherfucker. For sure. Deep knowing, Yang. So, yeah, this person knows. They know. They know exactly who you is. Um, I feel like this person is very excited to meet you as well. Treasure Island to be fair. Chop wood, Yang. Why? Orphan, okay. Somebody, somebody trying to figure out why the hell they left you behind, fam. <laughs> Divine masculine. They like, damn, how the hell? What, 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 what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I thinking letting that person go? What was I thinking treat them like they were shit? What was I thinking? Because now it's chaos and conflict in their life. Somebody trying to bring this shit to you because you got a solid foundation. That's just period. Whether you with somebody or not, your foundation is, is solid. Don't matter. This motherfucker right here on a liquid diet. Everything running right through this whole ass nigga. Or this bitch. Everything running right through this person. While you solid. You got a solid foundation. There's a change in the wind. And this person cannot have a new life with you. They cannot have a new start. You don't want a conversation. You don't want to do anything. And I don't blame you. Your twin, it's, it's, it's time for your twin flame. It's time for this actual kingdom marriage to come together, honey. Your actual soulmate. Somebody who actually... You know, gonna show to you niggas and these bitches how to treat you. This, this person right here can't wait to make motherfuckers mad is what I heard. This person cannot wait to make motherfuckers mad. Because they see your value. And it's like you gonna see the same exact thing in this person. You're gonna be so happy, bro. I'm telling you, you're very blessed. Whoever you may be. You're gonna be able to build this person. It's something about a brand new home like built from the ground up. This person has a lot of things in store for you. Yeah, higher power. And they're getting all of their ideas from the most high God. This for everything that this person is being guided to do. And see, that's why I fuck with divine masculine because divine masculine knows how to listen. This Whoever this divine masculine is, like I said, they don't got to be in prison. They could have already did some time. Or they could have just been stuck with someone. That was an illusion too. You didn't reach you because this person done broke free. But whoever this masculine or this feminine is, they know how to listen. They listen to the most high God, bro. They listen to their guidance. This person ain't never been perfect, but they listen. They ain't in between worlds. This person knows who they serve. For real, for real. And this is why this person get a chance to eat like they doing. And why you guys will not ever... I'm not going to say you're not going to argue. I'm not going to say anything like that. But it is rare. This is this person does not like arguing. This person be in their own little world thinking. This person be in solitude too much. They don't like that arguing shit. You don't even like arguing. So it's like, you know, like I said, this person right here get real quiet. They go off to themselves when they upset. So that's just a key of who your person is, um, fam, divine masculine. If you feel like your person is upset, they're not unless they don't walk the fuck off. And ain't said shit at all. They may come to you and talk to you about it. But first things first is them grounding themselves. Something could piss this person off completely. They'll never take that shit out on you. Or no one. They're not like that. They deal with that shit. Because if it's a problem to them, they have to solve it, right? You have to solve your problems. You can't just keep trying to throw your shit off on other people. And that may be something that this masculine learned as well here. I don't know. Whoever this person is, this person is a sweetheart. This person, even if they used to do some crazy ass shit back in the day, hell, I used to do some crazy ass shit back in the day. Motherfuckers were fighting and all kind of shit right here. Motherfuckers didn't give a fuck. But at some point, God will correct you. You did correct you. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. But um, yeah, this person don't play that shit though. Is what I'm saying. This person don't play the radio, the Xbox, PS5. The we, none of that shit. He don't play any of that. This person, he's not with none of it. I'm just trying to, he's telling me to tell you he's with none of that. This person is highly intelligent and they're intuitive as well. Whomever this is, masculine or feminine, okay? This is beautiful energy, guys. I wish I could stay in this reading a little bit longer. I have some things to do. Spirit would want to wait to tell me to do a damn twin flame reading when I ain't got that much time to do it. I gotta go out. What else is here? But yeah, um, this it's like something something is being built for you and for this person. It's like y'all both are benefiting off of each other. Just the, even the energy, just even the energy of this goddamn person and you and this person joining together is creating so much abundance. Y'all pray for your person, bro. 
Pray for your person. Always keep your person in your prayers. You're a person. This is a healer. And so are you. I've seen 2000. The year 2000 could be significant. Somebody from Gary, Indiana. Or somebody name could be Gary. Okay. Terry. Cornucopia. Meek. Meek. Neek. Meek. Abriel. Yeah. Whoever you are, divine feminine, you don't be out or nothing like that. You don't you don't be out clubbing and party. I feel like you already done did all that shit. This divine feminine got her own nightclub or something. Or this masculine does. Somebody has like a nightclub or a label, a record label or something. And look at somebody trying to bring some hostilities to this divine feminine, but bitch. Skirt car crash. Hope you got full coverage, bitch, because Archangel Michael is right here. Whoever in the fuck this is that's trying to come with this bullshit fuck. Okay, here. <laughs> yeah, bitch, no. It's not happening. There he goes again. Archangel Michael is not playing. So, yeah, somebody is being heavily guided, guarded, and just protected, period. This union is protected. It's somebody that's mad. They strategies ain't gonna work. This is somebody that's mad as fuck. And see, this person may not even know who the fuck you are. But I, like I said, with this damn divine masculine, but her, this masculine, man, this masculine trusted somebody. It's one person that this person trusted. And they may have told this person about you. And ever since they told this person about you, your ass been getting stalked, followed, harassed. Because they went and told this person, baby mama or um somebody. I don't fucking know. They, they went and told somebody about you. And this bitch right here started stalking the fuck out of this feminine. I'm telling you. This person don't even like this divine masculine. Whoever this nigga is, they don't like masculine. They do not like this divine masculine. And this bitch don't neither. But see, they it's something about money. Maybe masculine got some money put up. I don't motherfucking know. I don't even know right here, fam. I feel like whatever bread masculine got, that shit got something to do with him and his own concerns. You know what I'm saying? What somebody got ain't your fucking bidding, bro. Because it ain't your shit. It's theirs. I don't be saying how the fuck people try to live off people. Especially, you mean to tell me you, get, you got a person that get up every day and these people put their blood, sweat, and tears into getting money and you going to come in and you think that they just need to do something for you and if they don't do what you want them to do, you're going to fuck their life up? You're not the one out here working for shit. These be the main hoes trying to keep every dollar that they got to themselves. Never do anything for these men. These niggas never do anything for these women. Living off these women, eating up their kids, goddamn fruit snacks and shit. Don't contribute shit. Nigga can't even buy no stamps. Won't do a fucking thing. And then they try to control your life as if they're the one that's providing some. This shit crazy. Look at this deceit. I told you, Divine Masculine. I don't like this nigga, Terrell or Terry or whoever the fuck that nigga is right here. This person right here is very deceiving. There's our angel Ariel. So masculine might have told whoever this is, his friend or something. Or a brother or something. I don't know who the fuck this is, Shotty. I don't know who the hell this person is. But this divine masculine don't appreciate that shit at all. This masculine ain't slow. Masculine be having dreams and everything about the deceit. Maybe this divine masculine found out way after the fact or something. They found out something way after the fact. But it, it was like perfect timing. I heard a snapshot. Some, man, somebody definitely is uh, in the entertainment industry, period. Okay, here, or this is you, fam. Yeah, our angel Metatron breaking up these caring connections. Breaking these connections and shit up to clear it away for you and this person, period. This person knows that they want to marry you. They know already. I'm telling you. Yeah, somebody broken hearted because this masculine don't love them. They love you. Whoever this bitch is, yeah, they detached from this person. This person was all about money. I don't care how they tried. Somebody name is Cicely or Cicely, Cicely, Cicely or some shit. I don't know. Leslie. This person tried their hardest to make it seem like they wanted this person for love, but they truly only wanted them for money. And even if they, even if somebody wanted you for money at some point, don't you think that they would be loving to you? No, this person 
did nothing loving to this person. They slept and fucked this person and got money. It's like prostitution. And anytime that this person didn't do what they wanted or when they were getting bigger or something, this it's like this person was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and boom, here come the fall. I don't feel like it was a fall from grace. I feel like it was just a fall. I ain't gonna get too much into masculine business, but masculine know he masculine know he one hundred. Fem know she one hundred. Y'all folk know y'all y'all some real bosses in them motherfuckers, shout for real. I be so honored to read y'all people, bruh. Y'all folk is real bosses. And I mean that shit with every fiber of my soul, shout Y'all folk is bosses. And you know, Whoever this is that's feeling like they throwing out course because they're not your actual twin. You got a fake false ass twin. That fucking nigga, oh, this bitch ain't even coming up and then reading because they're irrelevant. But they still lurking. I can still feel the little, the minuscule specks of this person's energy trying to hold on to you with every fucking thing that they got. And it's not going to happen like that. Somebody's in despair. So, Divine Masculine, this could be, like I said, whoever this is. And, child, don't even get me, don't even get me to read it on this motherfucker setting this masculine up to even go to prison in the first fucking place, y'all. I don't even want to get into that shit. But these folks do some real fucked up ass shit, y'all. I'll be here all day reading the energy from motherfucking 1997. <laughs> For real, when this bitch was doing some shit with their damn masculine. This masculine definitely is older than you, fam. This person older than you, but they adore you, shawty. Like, this person just, this this person, like, wait till I get out. Wait till I get out. This all they, this, this, this person's not going to say shit to you. A lot of y'all ain't in contact with your masculine or your feminine just because they ain't saying shit. They're not going to. This person has a way of doing things. They're not going to do that. But they definitely have something they want to give to you. They want to give you a gift. This is something this person been putting together for a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody could be feeling under the weather right now, too. Masculine might not be feeling good. Or this masculine may have some underlying health issues. I don't know. But masculine definitely ain't feeling good right now. But he's a, he'll be all right. This is a warrior. And whatever it is, it ain't nothing, you know, major like that, fam. So don't take it like that, okay? What else is here? This masculine a motherfucking soldier shot it for real, for real. He a soldier about to turn into a sergeant in this bitch because whoever this is, they've been fighting. They have literally been fighting and they earned their strikes. Period. They earned their fucking strikes. Great fortune. Message of concern. It seems like this person wants to give you something before they even come home or something. Or they, they're really close to coming home or something like that. But it's a gift here. It's like money or something. This person wants to give you something. You're going to get a concerning message or something. You have the lover's card. This person feels like they knew you in a past life or something. Divine Masculine also be aware of several of your ex bitches. Okay, here, fam, several of your ex boyfriends about to start reaching out to you because they know that this relationship is coming. They can feel something in the air. They can feel something in the air, shout out, for real. Yeah, I told you, this person got their strikes. You got your strikes. Y'all folks is just bossed up, bro. I can't even, I can't even say nothing else. Let me um get one more card. I ain't even gonna clarify when I'm Sarah. What else is here? Keep this reading short. That's sweet. Let me have one more card, please, Dad. Thank you very much for the messages. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. Yes. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. Fam. Yeah. Somebody let her name Buchanan or Cannon or something like that. Demetrius. What's here? Dominique. Yeah, composure. It's something here. It's, it's something here about somebody being very reserved. Or something is reserved just for you and this person or there's some kind of reservation or something this person gonna give you some kind of honest communication they're gonna i mean i'm I, like i said you be dreaming of this person or something like that or they be dreaming of you this person i don't they may reveal that they had a dream about you but i doubt it okay holy lord this person too frail for that 
and the energy this person is weak as hell for you, but this person will never show that. Okay, I'm just trying to stay the vibes there. This person isn't. This person will do anything for you, but they're not a loser. Like you, you're not gonna walk over this person. But I don't feel like that's your intention anyway. This person will never let nobody walk over them. They're gonna always move with caution. This person gonna always be ten steps ahead of shit. But I feel like you're the same as that way. So also make sure too that you're not so focused on, oh, let me try to read you and see what the fuck you about because I ain't finna let you fucking play with me or whatever. But both of y'all are thinking the same way because something here is just too good to be true. But it's true, it's the truth. You guys are made for one each other, for one each other, for one another. It's a holy love for one each other. What the fuck is he? Uh, you don't take my motherfucking ass. They're masculine be having you fucking my words up and shit. Masculine. Why you doing it, boo? <laughs> All right. Not for real, fam. Divine masculine. It was a pleasure and honor all the time to read you guys. Okay. And I will see you in the next reading. Remember that God loves you and so do I.